Pan 4 is pulse amplitude modulation 4. And what that does is have the signal being sent at four different levels. So basically every single unit of time that I send you a piece of information, instead of sending one bit, I am sending you two bits. So that's really what PAM4 is. Uh, I am, in this particular case, doubling the amount of information that I am sending you. A, a scheme where we encode two bits, so four values per, uh, per transition. So we basically, instead of having a zero and a one for binary, we have a zero, uh, zero, one, two, and three, and they're encoded in a essentially a three-step uh, I uh, pattern. In a nutshell, it effectively allows you to transmit twice the data in the same time interval. Then for it uh, helps to uh, keep the Nyquist frequency the same uh, while the uh, data rate, the data transmitted within a given amount of time goes up. Then four doubles it. The, um con of using PAM4 is that it's more susceptible to noise because now you have the logic levels being closer to each other so it's more susceptible to crosstalk and that crosstalk could give you ISI or intercivil interference. Now I'm sending you four levels right that are much closely separated so my receiver has to be much more uh, well defined in order to determine oh he sent me this level not that level and that's the complexity of a multi-level signaling, right? That you need much more sensitive receivers. 